Hi guys and welcome in this new video. In this video, I will explain you how to import your financial data from Alpha Vantage. After this video, you will be able to import stock prices, forex prices, sentiment analysis data, economic indicators, commodities data, and many other things. And best of all, it's very easy to import them using Alpha Vantage. And this video is sponsored by the Alpha Quant program, a quant trading club that combines e-learning videos, seven day of a seven support, and real life quant trading monthly project. So if you want to take your quant trading to the next level, feel free to take a look into the description. First of all, we need to go on the Alpha Vantage documentation and you will have a section API key. And I will put the direct link into the description. You need to give some information. Then once you click there, you will have access to your API key. Okay, so you need to keep it somewhere because you will need to use that all the time you want to import some new data. Then we will go on the documentation to take a quick look about the different function that we can use. Here you have the new section about the artificial intelligence with the news, the sentiment and so on. Okay. But the thing that will very interest us a lot will be the Forex data, the stock prices data, because you will have a very long historic, for example, on the Forex 20 years. The only problem is that you can only import them in a daily basis if you have the free version of Alpha Vantage. But it is quite enough to begin and to break slowly into quant trading. So we'll go there on the left and we'll try to take a look to the daily prices for the Forex assets. And the thing really interesting is that we have an example that we can directly copy paste into our notebook. And here we can see that we have some meta information, okay, about what we are importing, the symbol and so on. And the data are into the key time series FX daily, okay? So we'll just run that and we will have now the different quotation for each date. But here we have several problems. First, it's not really visualable. You can't just say, okay, I have N worlds and I have this type of data and so on, okay? It's not very well formatted. The second thing is that I know, because I have used a lot this library, if you are using the API key demo, it means that you are able only to import 100 data, which is quite not enough for us. So let me do some modification. First of all, I have created an API key for this video. So you can use it, but I really advise you to create your own API key to do not be limited by the request from the other members. So here I put my API key and I have changed also one parameter, which is the output size. By default is set up at compact, which means 100 rows. And if you put your own API key, you have the possibility to use the full option, which means to obtain all the data that Alpha Vantage has. So here, for example, I can see all the data from my importation. So if I extract the time series FX, okay, from the data variable, and I use a data frame, I will have a better visualization about the data I have imported, okay? I just transpose the data frame to have something that we are more comfortable to work with. And as we can see, I have imported around 20 years of data and I have imported the open eye low close. So here we have seen how to increase the number of data that we are importing using this function. But I just want to insist on a point. Here, the data are not into a good format. Why? Because first of all, you begin with the latest variable, but if you put that into, I don't know, any backtesting software, any machine learning libraries or something like that, it always begin with the oldest here, okay? So you need to order your data frame into a chronological order. And it's very important, it's mandatory because if you don't do that, you will predict the past using the future. And it's really not something that we want, okay? So increase the number of data. We just have a parameter, which is the output size. It is written there. If you want, for example, 
change the currency you are importing, it's also very easy. You have the from to symbol. And here you have the entire Forex list that you can download, okay? So it's very easy. The question is, now let's imagine I want to import the Apple stock or data from Microsoft stock. How can I do that? To do that, we need to change the function. For example, here, let me show you, for example, for the natural gas. If you go there and you take a look, the function is natural gas and it's not anymore FX daily, okay? And that's quite important because it means that for each data you want to import, you will have a specific function. You can't just use, for example, like for Yahoo Finance or something like that, directly the symbol of the data you want to import. And here, as we can see, the other thing which is quite interesting and that you need to keep in mind is that here the data are called data and not time series FX daily, for example, okay? So it means that for each data you are importing, maybe the data will have another name into the output dictionary. And you need to keep that in mind in order to, when you want to create a function that will help you to have this data easily, okay? You need to keep that in mind to be sure you are not stuck using the wrong key there. And so if I'm importing the natural gas, so using the function natural gas and the output size full, I have kept this parameter, I can see that I will have the value for the natural gas for more than 20 years. So it's quite interesting.